Okay, now that we've returned to the desktop, we're going to hit uh, continue here on the Bitdefender evaluation. We're going to show you how to buy it here in just a minute. We're going to continue without a license key, and we're going to register later. You will have to register, but we will register later. We're going to hit finish. Here you see actually an Adobe Reader uh, update that's come up. We're going to go ahead and have it remind us later. And then we're going to delete the downloader um, and go to custom on this next setting. We're going to leave it off of a, of a network. In this case, it's a standalone in that instance. We're going to go to export setting. There's a reason for that. It's much easier to manage the menu. We're going to uncheck the following because we're going to do our own scan at a specific time. There goes our download manager. And sometimes uh, it takes just a little bit for Bitdefender to launch that first time. It's configuring some different things in the background and what have you. And unlike a lot of antiviruses that take up a lot of uh, system resources, Bitdefender really doesn't. It's definitely not a system hog. But that first time it launches, it can take just a little bit. So we're going to go in and configure what time the antivirus scans. We're going to set what time, uh, we're going to set what it scans and how, how uh, thorough it scans. And we're actually going to configure what the antivirus does during a scan. So about now, here it is, is the uh, antivirus coming up. We're going to go and check under settings to make sure it is indeed on expert mode, just in case you missed that earlier. This is actually where you can change it again. Notice it's set to expert mode. We'll hit OK. Under antivirus, we're going to go to custom level. Under custom level, we're going to, we notice that we're going to check archive and then we're going to come down here to action to be taken under suspicious and set move to quarantine. There's a lot of stuff out there that's a problem these days. Go to update and update now and then we're going to go back to the antivirus tab and over to virus scan. Under virus scan we're going to go to deep scan and we're going to go to scheduler. Notice we right click to get there periodically and I'm going to set it for late at night. So we're going to stop this video and we're going to pick up with the next one here in just a moment. So See you momentarily.